All right, this is Mr. Drury and Coach Naz from room 114, deep inside the 053, Nichols Junior High. What, what? We're going to be teaching you about sentences today, so brace yourself, interwebs. You're going to learn how to make sentences, which I don't know if y'all have seen like the comments on YouTube or really any social network site. Those people need a lesson. On sentences. They, they, know how to they do need it. a big lesson on how to make a sentence. All right, so today we're going to talk about the simple sentence. If you can do that, you can do a lot. That video that just flashed by, you actually can watch that from the website you downloaded this from. I'll put a link up. But the three things that make a sense that you get from that that you need to know are subject, verb, and a complete thought. If it doesn't have those three things, it's not a sentence. It's a fragment or some other kind of clause or phrase or uselessness. You want a subject, you want a verb, and you want a complete thought. Yeah, it's think of it like a car. The subject is the body of the car, holds everything together, gives direction. The verb is the motor, makes it go, and this, the expression of a complete thought is like having tires on it. If you're missing one of those things, you're either like sitting in a car on blocks with no tires, or you're sitting in a car with tires but no motor. I mean, it's, it's either not gonna way, go. either way, you're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. So you're you have in your to... front yard, and people are making fun of you. That's right, and people are like, you should get to work on that car you're yeah, restoring. Come on. Because it's not a complete sentence. Wait, no, that's I messed up. It's not before. a complete car. Yeah. Not a complete sentence. That's right. Uh, the subject is who or what the sentence is about. So those are basically nouns, people. Like, in this case, subject can be a noun like Mr. Drury or Nichols Junior High or something more abstract like space or love or hatred. Freedom. 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 Now, it doesn't always have to be a noun. Sometimes you're going to um, use a pronoun. Second place, you don't want to say Mr. Drury every sentence. Because, like, if you were writing an essay about the most awesome person in the world... You would get tired of typing Mr. Jury out. Yeah, so you'd have to replace it all with Coach Naz. Or he. Or she, if you're really writing the truth. Right, or I, if I'm writing a story about yeah. myself. I have a student who, he likes to write. He writes in third person. That's kind of weird about how awesome he is. It's, is his name Elmo? No, his, his name's Elijah. That's weird. All right. The verb can be action or linking. Um Action verbs are more interesting. Why? Because there's action. They're doing something. So examples of action verbs. Kicked, strolled, strutted, smacked, kissed, slapped. If you had a sentence where one of those things is happening, something is happening. Especially like if they're back to back. If somebody got kissed and then they got slapped, stuff is going on. That's a humdinger of a sentence. That's right. Now, you sometimes do just have to express a state of being and you do those with linking verbs. And I like to think of the linking, like, how is the linking verb a be verb? That always confused me when I, I was a kid in, in uh, elementary and junior high. And then uh, one day I met some people who didn't conjugate the be verb. They say things like, I be in the cafeteria. You're right. Or she be in the cafeteria. Or we be going to the cafeteria and, tomorrow. Right. And you would replace those if you were an English teacher with, she is in the cafeteria. We are going to the cafeteria. I am in the cafeteria. All of those are different conjugations of to be somewhere. We are somewhere. We were somewhere. We will be somewhere. I am. She is. You get it. All right? So, when a sentence is complete, it forms a complete thought and makes sense. Mr. Dre is insane. Agreed. Those, yes, if you've seen me in the hallways, you know. And if you needed more proof, here's a picture from two Christmases ago. Totally jacked my six-year-old nephew's Nerf gun. The poncho and the hat, those are the glasses, that's all mine. The Nerf gun, that's his. I, lo I did finally like pitch enough of a fit that my wife bought me a Nerf gun for my birthday this past time. 38 years old, finally got a Nerf gun. Sentences can be... I don't even have words for it. <laughs> everyone's got, everyone's got to have a goal in life. Yeah, it's really, it's important. And using a Nerf gun can lead to having other gun interests that will help you for a time when the zombie apocalypse comes. Yeah. Because we don't want zombies to rule. Mm -mm. And you can have a two-word sentence like that. You have a subject, zombies. What are they doing? Ruling. And just in case you wondered, here is a punk rock 80s zombie in my favorite video game, Plants vs. Zombies. All right. You can have a kid kicking. You're like, Mr. Drew, shouldn't the kid be kicking something? Not if it's a baby. Babies just kick. Like my son. He's kicking it right there. Yep. He's yep. so cute. He's and he's grown so much since then. That was so long ago. But yeah, I thought I'd put him in there. Yeah, we should insert some sappy music right then. You think so? Yeah, but the kids won't like it. No, all right. The kid that kicked the other kid. Now we're getting somewhere. Something is getting kicked. In this case, it's not the soccer ball. It's the teammate. Notice they're on the same kid team, kids. Way to go, teammate. Yeah, that's, you know, and coach. Also, also, the kid getting kicked 
just for you uh, grammar aficionados, that's called the direct object. Yeah. They receive the action of the verb. Yeah. And he is receiving the kick. I'm pretty sure he'd rather not. Yeah, probably not. Okay. Um, and once you master your simple sentences, you can make compound sentences, which will be our next lesson. Oh, delightful. Yay. So that's how you do it, kids. The simple sentence. I think most of you knew that. But there's a little bit of a refresher. The thing you really, really got to remember takes three things to make a sentence. What are they? Subject. Verb. Expression with complete thought. That's right. Oh. Yep, that's it. And we'll see you back on the internet some other time, kids. This is Coach Naz and Mr. Drew signing off from 053 Nichols Junior High.